So Tabitha Go's vision uh, is to lift up and to encourage and breathe hope into to women and children that are traumatized and to remind them that there is hope in their lives even though they've been through um, extreme challenges. So uh, when I came to Uganda seven years ago with another organization, I, uh, I was so deeply touched by what I saw, what I heard. So I decided when this other organization closed that I couldn't leave this place. I needed to continue and try at least to do a difference. So decided to uh, continue with trauma teaching and uh, I also early decided that we have to try to do something to create a sustainable job for these single moms in the settlement. So that's how it all started. It started with trauma classes, but also uh, try to fundraise for uh, a sustainable skill, uh, or skills to get sustainable jobs for these mothers. Some of the stories of the ladies that are so touching, that are so heartbreaking. But the fact that they get to disclose these stories to a trauma therapist and they talk about it, you would see them later getting transformed, like lifting that burden off their heads and resting it aside. So that looks to me as very a very powerful thing in the ministry that Tabitha Go has been able to change someone else's life. Then on the side of the children, when the mother is fine, the child gets a better life. So we have this project group in the settlement that we have been training. Uh, we have someone to watch the Tabitha home, the, the guard there. But the challenge is always that we should have been closer and also uh, the fact that they are refugees and they can any time be uh, moved from the settlement to other places. So we have that all the time uh, in the back of our heads that to build something in a place where people move <laughs> is a challenge. But uh, yeah, that's the challenge. Yeah. Uh, one of the stories that I that really touched my heart was the story of Mamisa. There's a lady called Mamisa Alfonsin. She, with her husband, had nine children. And one mo one morning, the husband committed suicide and left her with nine children. So when Tabitha Go heard of the story of the husband passing on. And he decided to step in and comfort the lady and try to give her trauma sessions to heal her broken heart and all the terrifying stories that she had. And a few months, not a few months down the road, her life started changing. She stopped fearing. She came back into the community. She thought before she thought about committing suicide too, but then she changed and became a better person and right now you could see her with her nine children though they don't have a father but they live harmoniously in, a fa in the family. Production the 25 ladies have now soon, soon finished learning to make sandals but we want to continue and teach them more teach them to make proper shoes and and also other things learn sewing uh, make different other items so fundings to be some that someone supports financially of course and also join us uh, be a part of it go with us to Uganda meet the people to see that it is actually possible to make a change it doesn't have to be hopeless even if you are in a settlement that are forgotten by the world 
it is possible to make a change for one and one these places.